Hi, I'm Brian Shaw, health educator here at Sacramento Native American Health Center. Welcome to another revealing episode of the Health Education Minute, where we spend about 60 seconds exploring a health topic that you should be aware of. Every December 1st is recognized as World AIDS Day. That's an opportunity for people worldwide to unite in the fight against HIV, to show support for people living with HIV, and to commemorate those who have died from AIDS-related illness over the last three and a half decades. Fun fact, World AIDS Day was the first ever Global Health Day founded in 1988. In an earlier episode of the Health Education Minute, I described how I got my start in the field of health education, providing HIV tests and counseling for people who wanted to know their HIV status. In that role, I was able to explain the importance of knowing your HIV status and how the test works. So let me hearken back to those days a couple of decades ago and talk to you about HIV testing on the eve of World AIDS Day. HIV is the virus that causes AIDS, and this virus can cause significant damage to our immune systems, slowly destroying our body's ability to fight even minor infections. Thankfully, in the last three and a half decades, since the identification of HIV as the virus, amazing treatments have been developed that can help people with this condition live long, happy, healthy lives. While there's no current vaccine to prevent or any treatment to cure HIV, early detection is helpful. And to do this, you must know your HIV status with a test. The HIV virus is spread from person to person through sex, exposure to blood through needles, and from mother to child. Once someone is exposed to HIV by one of these methods, within a few weeks to a few months, the body will develop a marker that can be found on a test. The marker is called HIV antibodies, and this is what the HIV test is looking for. HIV antibodies can be found conveniently in blood. Even though blood is also the body fluid capable of infecting others with HIV, the HIV blood test is actually looking for these HIV antibodies within the blood and not the virus itself. Testing positive for HIV means the person has HIV antibodies and therefore has the virus in their body and is capable of infecting others. These results are expressed as positive or reactive. However, the result indicating absence of HIV antibodies, also known as negative, is expressed as negative or non-reactive. Conveniently, HIV antibodies are also found in the oral fluid, which is why a quicker, painless test can be done with OraQuick by swabbing the test around your gums. Since this method also looks for HIV antibodies the same way that the blood test looks for HIV antibodies, a test result of positive or reactive means the person has HIV antibodies in their body and therefore has been infected. You can see on the lines of this test that a positive test result is represented by two lines, whereas a negative test result is represented by one line. It's important to keep in mind that these HIV antibodies can take up to three months to be detectable on a test, so be sure to get the test within the right time frame of your possible exposure. If you test positive, know that support and treatment are critical for your long-term health. Some of those resources can be found below in this video's description. Check for availability of the HIV test with your doctor or community health center. Know your HIV status and protect yourself and others. If you want more of the Health Education Minute, you can watch and subscribe to Snack's YouTube channel. And until next time, I'll see you right here.